this is how to get started. Open up a browser page and then go to the link from the description. Then click here. Then on the right side, you're going to see a download icon. I want you to click it. As soon as it's over, I want you to open it and then right click on the folder, copy, go to this PC, local disk C, click on the empty space and control V. And make sure that it's the folder, not the zip file. Let's create a restore point. In order to do that, we need to type create a restore point. Click on local disk C. If the protection is off, we click on configure. We click on turn on system protection. And then I personally use 10 gigabytes, but you can also use like less if you want. I'll just use 10 for now. Click on apply. OK, then click on the C drive again. Click on create and then name it. So I'm going to name it like safe and then create. Good. The restore point was created successfully. We click on close. OK, and then we do a system reboot. Now we have to check for Windows updates. So open the start menu, type updates. And then in my case, it says install all because it's downloading in the background. In your case, it might say scan for updates or check for updates. So click that. I'm just going to click on install all and then I'm going to wait for the updates to be finished. Now that the update has finished installing, we're going to restart the system. Now let's install Malwarebytes. So we're going to go to malwarebytes.com. Click on free download. We're going to open the EXE setup. Install personal next and skip this for now. As soon as this is done, we click on open Malwarebytes. Click on get started. Maybe later and then get started. Now we click on scan and then we wait for the scan to be finished. Now the thread scan summary found basically nothing for me because this is a virtual machine. But in some cases it might detect some unwanted apps or malware. So just go ahead and quarantine them and then that's it. Now what we're going to do is enable the power plan. We're going to open up CMD as admin and then we're going to copy the following command from the guide. Afterwards, we copy the last command from the guide and we press enter. You're going to see FPS 7 X Heroic GG power plan. So all you need to do is just basically click this dot right here. Now let's delete some Windows junk. Open up the search bar, type this cleanup. And now on the left side, you just need to click on every box. So as soon as you're done with it, press OK and then delete. Now we will do the same thing again. But this time you're going to click on cleanup system files. We're going to check every box from the left and then OK. Now let's remove the NVIDIA driver. Get over to the DDU folder. Open up DDU. We press OK. Now we click on options. And then we have to make sure that this box is ticked. We press OK. Click on close. Then we select GPU, then NVIDIA, and then we click clean and restart. Now let's install the NVIDIA driver. Open up NV clean install. Press yes. Now, because I'm on a virtual machine, it will not detect any driver. But follow these steps. Click on manually select a version. Now I'm going to click on show all versions because, again, I'm on a virtual machine. And now if you're on a desktop, you will choose the first option. Ignore that it says Windows 10, it doesn't really matter. And if you're a notebook or a laptop, you're just going to click on notebook. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to click on desktop. I'm going to press next. And then I'm going to deselect everything. Because, you know, to play CS2, we don't really need any of that. So I'm going to click on next. All right, now follow my steps. Press next and then press on install. Now, because I'm on a virtual machine, this is not going to work for me. But all you need to do is just click on install and be patient. In the end of the driver installation, you're going to see an error. All you need to do is just ignore it. Now, since we installed the driver, we need to import the CS2 settings. 
So we're gonna go and click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector and open it. Now that we have it open, we need to click on this arrow on the right, Import Profiles, and then we have to go to the directory of our guide, which is C Drive, Heroic FPS 7, NVIDIA, and then CS2.NIP. We click on Open, and then click on OK, and Apply Changes. Now we have to do the monitor settings. So we're going to right click on the desktop control panel, adjust desktop size and position, and you're going to see your monitors. Now I use two. So the first one is my main one, full screen, performance scaling on GPU, check the box, and make sure you select the highest refresh rate of the monitor. And I do the same thing for the other one. Uh, I use full screen, I use GPU, check the box, and I make sure I use the highest refresh rate. Then, you know, apply. Now let's disable game mode. Open up the Windows search bar, type game mode, click on turn on game mode, and then you're just gonna turn it off. Now we can disable hardware scheduling. We're gonna right click on the desktop, show more options, and then display settings. Now scroll down to graphics, change default graphics settings, and then turn hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to off. Guys, a small reminder about hardware acceleration and game mode. In CS2, the vast majority of times, the game will run better if you have these two options or either of these two off. But do your own testing, do your own benchmarks and come to your own conclusion. I'm just going to give you the general idea, but you should always do your own testing because not every machine is the same. Now let's disable some startup items. Click on your desktop and then hold Control shift escape You're gonna see Task Manager popping up. Now what you need to do is click on Startup Apps and then, for example, I see OneDrive, I click on it and I disable. Edge, I click on Disable. Xbox App Services, you know, you get the point. Just do like as many as you want, keep as many as you want, it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to show you a very nice way of removing apps, system apps, and also it's going to remove the leftover entries behind it. We open up the file explorer, go to the C drive, go to the heroic FPS 7 folder, and then we open Geek. Now you're going to see a bunch of apps, like this is a virtual machine that don't have many apps. So I'm going to pick like a random one. So I'm going to click on Lightshot, the app that I want to remove. I'm going to right click, uninstall. This is the light shot uninstaller, so I'm just going to press yes. The uninstallation has been finished. And now it's going to scan for leftovers. It found nothing, so I'm just going to press close. And with this app, if you click on view and then you click on Microsoft Store apps, you can also uninstall system apps. For example, let's do Microsoft 365, for example. Right click, uninstall. And then it found some leftovers. I'm just going to click on finish. And then it's completely gone. And then you can do the same thing for like many apps. But like be careful on what you remove. So keep that in mind. Now this final tip is for the NVIDIA GPUs. And especially those who use a desktop graphics card. The specific registry setting will make sure to boost your GPU at the maximum boost rate that it can handle and at specific voltage all the time, even on the desktop, at the expense of more heat and power consumption. If you do not care about these two drawbacks, you can go ahead and follow it, but I'm gonna give you the warning first. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open regedit as admin, we're gonna highlight computer and paste the following directory. You're gonna see on the left side, a couple of keys. We're gonna focus on 000 and 001. Now, starting from 000, if you look on the right side, I'm going to scout for my GPU. Now, my GPU is a 4070 Ti, but if you scroll down, you might not see your GPU there. So take a look on the other key called 001. It might be there, so keep this in mind. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to full screen this to make it easier for you. And I'm going to right click on the empty space, new, D word 32 bit, and then I'm going to call it like this. I'm going to set this to 1. All you need to do is reboot and there we go. 
All right, for the video settings, make sure it's full screen, then your highest refresh rate, your resolution, and then on advanced settings, if you use NVIDIA GPU, please make sure to keep this enabled always, okay? Make sure to keep it enabled. Someone says uh, that it should be disabled. <laughs> Don't listen to that. Keep it enabled, all right? Enabled. Now, when it comes down to the advanced video settings, it's totally up to your personal choice. So my system works very well with these settings uh, without like lagging. But if you want to have higher frame rate, just, just use everything on like low, as low as possible, but make sure to use uh, shadow quality to like at least medium or high because it's pretty important okay but other than that um, this has to be high and also make sure to always use um, reflex right always been 